Has your teacher asked you to find the molecular mass of copper 2 iodide? Well, you've come to the right place. Good thing you clicked on this video because I'm going to show it to you in about a little over a minute. Bam! So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the elements I see in the compound, right? So we see copper, Cu, and we see iodine, I. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If there is no number at the bottom of that particular element like copper, there is a 1 there. All right, so always assume that there's one. So one copper and then there's two iodine. Next is we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. Where do we find the mass? You guessed it, periodic table. So here are the masses of both copper and iodine. And I'm now going to write them down. All right, so 63.55. So 63.55 for copper. And then iodine is about 126.90. And then we're going to simply find the total mass of each element by multiplying the row on a cross for each element. So this works out to be 63.55. Total mass of iodine is then going to work out to be roughly 253, 253.80. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, just add up the total mass of each individual element, right? Isn't that so nice and easy? So this is 317.35. And the units here are in AMU, atomic mass units. And that's because we're solving for molecular mass. So thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can like and subscribe, it helps us out tremendously. Check out some more of our subjects too. We got math, we got physics, more, even more chemistry. All right, we can solve specific questions so you know how to do specific problems. And uh, yeah, take care.